my kitchen, which can mean one of two things. I'm either doing a DIY or I'm doing a cooking video. And since my DIY and glam up your back to school supplies last year was so successful, I have another one for you guys. I have a bunch of different ideas and I hope you really like it. I worked super hard and yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first DIY you guys are gonna see are these DIY journals and planners. I didn't film step by step for all of these because I felt like a lot of them were self-explanatory and kind of followed the same guidelines which you'll see in a second but I wanted to just show you guys the finished products before we get into how I did them I have this one which says just keep swimming on it this one which is striped and glittery this one which is kind of like a chevron which is just not any glitter it's just painted um, but it's a lot cuter than the thing that was underneath it trust me and this one which has a heart on it and it says love is louder and then two small planners that say shine bright and let the sun shine okay, so in. For your materials, you're going to need a bunch of old notebooks and ugly planners, some acrylic paint in any and every color of the rainbow, Mod Podge or any other type of glue product, a ton of glitter if that's your style, and some paint pens, in addition to some paint brushes and tape. So step one, you're just kind of going to draw your design and sketch it out. I am doing a striped look on this notebook, so I'm just drawing the stripes. You can do anything your heart desires. Now I'm just taping off the sections that I don't want to have the glitter on and then painting in between the sections with white. This just kind of helps to neutralize the base of the glitter so the original design doesn't really show through. And once you have all of your paint on there, you can go ahead and wait for it to dry and then add a layer of glue. What you want to do is put the glue on and then glitter it for each section so the glue doesn't dry. I learned this the hard way, guys. Just glue and then glitter and then glue and then glitter if you, get, if you catch my drift. And then you're just going to want to remove the tape to create nice sharp lines and now you can start painting in between the glitter lines with the color of your choice. I think this is super cute. I love this blue. It has its own shimmery quality as well. Now I'm just going to do another notebook and draw out my design onto an index card. You can do a heart. I did a star on another planner which you're going to see in a second. You can do really anything and you're just going to cut it out and then tape it down onto the notebook. So like I said, just tape it down and kind of press it onto the notebook. Now we're going to paint it. I decided to do white. You can do whatever color you want and just paint all around the design. Be careful when you're painting close to the design that you don't get any paint underneath the paper. So yeah. Just keep on painting. This is going to take a bunch of layers and you're going to have to wait for it to dry and it's going to take a long time, but it comes out looking super cute. Now that it's all dry and you've painted a ton of layers, peel off the design. And as you can see, it's not perfect, so what you're going to want to do is take a color of your choice and kind of fill in the design. I chose to do a red heart. You want to leave a really thick, goopy layer of paint so the glitter that you're about to put on will stick to it. So as you can see, this is like pretty thick. I didn't wait for it to dry and I just went ahead and put glitter all over it. If you wait for the white to dry long enough, you don't have to worry about getting glitter onto the white part because it'll just come right off when you shake it out later. And as you can see, here's the star I was talking about. I did a nice little yellow star on this planner. To rock the boat and, make a mess. and I also did a chevron print. This is an alternative way you can do the design from before. And this one I just painted a solid pink color and wrote with my paint pen, let the sun shine in. And I drew a nice little sun at the bottom. For these guys, I DIY'd, I'm just going to show you one example that I have here. I DIY'd two different USB cords and my cell phone charger, which you guys will see in a second. Just because I feel like in this new day and age, you're going to use your cell phone charger, your iPad charger, your phone charger at school. I know a lot of schools are starting to let kids use their phones in school now. Or if you have any after school activities, it's good to have your charger on you because you don't want your phone to die. God knows that was awful. I used to take my phone to school with me and then when I would have like 
my like easy classes, like my drama classes and stuff, I would charge my phone in the back because the teachers were always super cool about it. You gotta have everything on your USB because you know you gotta transfer your documents from school computers to home computers, PowerPoints for presentations and stuff. So sometimes your school will give you ugly ones, like this one has my student handbook from my college on it, and all of them look the same. So you can spice it up a little bit and add some bling to kind of set yours apart from everyone else's if they give them to you, or if this. If yours is like this one, which was like just black and ugly, you can make it pretty. All you need is a cell phone charger, iPhone Nation, and some fabric tape in a variety of colors. This is so easy, guys. There's only one step, which is to place the tape around the charger. It is so adorable. I placed it on the USB section as well as the little bit that goes into your phone to give it a nice, cute matching effect. The second option is to wrap the tape around your little USB. I think this is so adorable and it sets your USB apart from everyone else's at Thank school. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so incredibly happy with the success that my channel has gained over this past year. It's crazy to think where I was a year ago today and I hope you enjoyed this video. I have more DIYs coming your way. I have one for your locker storage and some for college dorm room ideas. So yeah guys. Ah, the video that I uploaded has almost 25,000 views on it. And if you haven't seen it, go check it out. It blows my mind. You guys are the best thing to ever happen to me. And I'm so incredibly happy that like, you just, you rock guys. You're awesome. And I wouldn't be here without you in my kitchen. I probably would be in my kitchen without you because it's almost lunchtime and I'm kind of hungry. So you guys, I am going to be giving away all of these notebooks and planners. I'll be giving them away in two separate things. The first winner is going to get the Just Keep Swimming uh, notebook and the Sparkly notebook along with the Let the Sunshine In planner. The other winner is going to get the Purple Chevron with the Love is Louder notebook and the Shine Bright planner. So there's going to be two winners. What you have to do to win is leave a comment down below with which idea is your favorite, if it's the um, DIY or USB or phone cords or the notebooks, and if it is the notebooks, which one's your favorite, you must be subscribed to my channel. Those are the only two qualifications. You can like this video if you want. It's not going to give you any extra entries or anything. You don't have to share it, but you can if you want to. Sorry, it's not international. It's specific to the United States and Canada. I am sorry. That sucks. But it's what I have to deal with right now. Um, yeah. Eek. Also, please don't leave more than one comment. Just leave one comment or you will be disqualified. I've had people in the past spam my comments and that's just not good for anyone. And it's just kind of unfortunate. So just leave one comment. Just one. One little comment. Please. Bye guys. Am I a turkey now? <laughs> Maybe I should film my kitchen all the time. So, I know some of you aren't all over the Twitters. I'm on the Twitters. Alright, for the giveaway. But if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to leave a comment down below on who this voice is. I'm not kidding. Is that funny? Then do it. It is hot in here and I'm sweating. Oh.